the French Socialist Party held a two-round presidential primary to select a candidate for the 2017 presidential election on 22 and 29 January 2017. It was the second open primary, primary Cytovians, held by the center-left coalition. After the primary in 2011 in which François Hollande defeated Martin Aubry to become the socialist nominee, Hollande went on to defeat incumbent Nicolas Sarkozy in the 2012 presidential election. However, because of his low approval rating, he announced that he would not seek re-election, becoming the first president of the Fifth Republic to decide not to run for a second term. The primary was contested by seven candidates, four from the Socialist Party and three representing other parties part of the left-wing electoral alliance, La Belle Alliance Populaire. The three frontrunners in the first round of the primary were Manuel Valls, who served as Hollande's Prime Minister from 2014 to 2016 and Interior Minister from 2012 to 2014, Benoit Hammond, Minister of National Education in 2014, and Arno Monteberg, Minister of the Economy, Production Recovery and the Digital Sector from 2012 to 2014. On 22 January, Hammond received 36.03% and Valls 31.48% of the vote in the first round and advanced to the runoff. Far ahead of all other candidates and well ahead of Monteberg, who was eliminated and immediately endorsed Hammond. In the runoff, Hammond easily defeated Valls, beating the XPM by nearly 20 percentage points, and officially took the mantle as nominee of the PS in the 2017 presidential election. Background The selection of the candidate of the French Socialist Party, PS, by activists was planned since the adoption of statutes at the Epinay Congress in 1971, and the PS ran close primaries, among party members only, before the 1995 and 2007 presidential elections. In June 2010, prior to the 2012 election, the party decided to open the primary to all citizens, and not only members of the PS. And in October 2011, it held its first open primary which led to the selection of François Hollande as its nominee in the subsequent election, won by the PS, in the party's Toulouse Congress following the 2011 primary. The principle of open primaries for future presidential elections with the involvement and support of other left-wing political parties was adopted. Given the unpopularity of incumbent President Hollande, Discussions were held regarding the possibility of a primary before the 2017 election and its parameters. In February 2016, the first secretary of the French Socialist Party, Jean-Christophe Cambadelis, publicly indicated his support for a primary election within the party. The primary was held against the backdrop of the unpopularity of the ruling socialists and the fragmentation of the left between three major candidates, with polls indicating that the party's candidate would come in fifth. Behind the National Front's Marine Le Pen, François Fillon of the center-right Republicans, Emmanuel Macron, former economy minister under Roland who founded his The Centrist Political Movement, En Marche, and far-left ex-socialist Jean-Luc Mélenchon under the banner of Unsubmissive France with left-wing votes split between Macron, Melanchon, and the socialist candidate, none is likely to advance to the second round. Candidacies Former Economy Minister Arno Monteberg, who also ran for the nomination of the Socialists in 2011, was one of the first to declare interest in a speech at Mont Buffray on 16 May 2016, Weedly viewed as indicating his interest in running for the presidency, in which he issued a call to build a great alternative project for France to an audience of 200 Socialist Party militants. Among those in attendance were former Minister Aurélie Filippetti, as well as MPs Christian Paul, chief among the party's rebels, 
having had a part in the foundation of the new Socialist Party caucus along with Monteberg, Laurent Baumel and Patrice Pratt, former French education minister Benoit Hamon, another founder of the new Socialist Party caucus, declared his candidacy on the same day arguing that Poland could no longer earn the French people's trust and proposed to raise the minimum wage to further reduce the 35-hour work week instituted by the socialists in 2000 to 32 hours. A. 35 billion stimulus for the French economy. Falls, Monteberg, and Hammond ultimately became the main three contenders for the socialist nomination but several other candidates ultimately participated in the primary. Former Minister of National Education Vincent Pialon made a late bid to become the socialist nominee, announcing his candidacy on the 11th of December. Returning from a two-and-a-half-year residency in Switzerland in which he taught philosophy at the University of Neuchatel and wrote novels, his bid contrasts with those of Monteborg and Hammond representing the mainstream Socialist Party as opposed to its left-wing rebels. Several other candidates also filed petitions to run in the primary, including Senator Marino, L.L.E. Lyman, Gerard Filosh, Fabian Bertier, and Pierre Larutoru. Despite initially contemplating running, Lyman decided not to run in the primary on 9 December worried about the splitting of votes between candidates of the party's left wing, question mark, Monteborg and Hammond, and urging them to unite forces. Although she stated that she faced pressure to withdraw her candidacy, these pressures were not a factor in her recusal from the primary campaign. The unpopularity of incumbent President Oland led to widespread speculation as to whether he would choose to run for re-election. Facing fierce competition within his own party in the socialist primary, when he ultimately renounced his candidacy on 1 December 2016, on 15 December, he declared that if elected president, he would abolish Article 49-3, an executive degree enshrined within the Constitution of France. He controversially used it as Prime Minister to force laws through the National Assembly, bypassing legislative approval, to send them directly to the Senate. Unveiling his platform on 3 January 2017, he proposed a 2.5% increase in public spending contingent on annual economic growth of 1.9% while keeping the deficit below the 3% of GDP requirement mandated by the Stability and Growth Pact, the creation decent income of 804 all adult French nationals, having the gender pay gap in France, a pause in the enlargement of the European Union, the addition of a charter of secularism to the Constitution, and the consolidation of the nuclear industry. Val's most prominent opponent was initially considered to be former economy minister Arno Monteberg, Monteberg's months-long position in second place, however, was challenged by a surge of support for Benoit Hamon, with the primary becoming a three-man race between Val's, Hamon, and Monteberg by mid-January. Hamon's strongly left-wing program of legalizing cannabis taxing robots to fund a universal basic income, and reducing the 35-hour work week to 32 hours, attracted many left-wing voters disillusioned by the socialists' turn toward business-friendly policies, championed under Hollande's presidency by the likes of Valls and Macron. The former education minister's late rise was likened to that of François Fillon in the primary of the center-right Republicans' party. His rise propelled by his championing of left-wing values and vision of a society that spends less time working, enjoys higher pay, and emphasizes the importance GDP growth less. Ammon has also decried neoconservatives and even those on the left who wish to restrict the rights of French Muslims, a less than subtle denunciation of Valls's hardline stance on immigration. Three debates were held before the first round of the primary. The first, syndicated by TF1, Public Senat, 
LCI, RTL, and co-organized by L'Observatore. Erda 21. OO, set on the 12th of January. Moderated by Giles Bulo, Elizabeth Martichu, and Matthew Quasando. The second, by BFM TV, RMC, and ITV. Aired at 18. OO, set on the 15th of January. Moderated by Ruth L. Creep, Lawrence Ferrari, and Laurent Newman. The third, by France 2, Europe 1, LCP, TV5 Monde and regional daily newspapers, aired at 21, OO, set on the 19th of January, moderated by David Pujadas, Leo Salome, and Fabian Namias. The first debate attracted 3.83 million viewers, representing an audience share of 18.3%. percent First round. Hammond came on top in the first round of the primary, followed by Valls as neither of the two secured more than 50% of the vote. A second round was held on 29 January. Monteberg, relegated to third place, conceded defeat and pledged to vote for Hammond in the second round. Pialan came fourth, Barugi fifth, Pinel sixth, and Benami as last. Of these four candidates, Pinel backed Valls in the second round. Pialan did not endorse but encouraged voters to mobilize and Darugi also chose not to endorse immediately afterwards, hoping to meet the top two contenders on 23 January to decide. Only seven, 350 polling stations were open during the primary, compared to nine, 425 in the 2011 primary and 10, 228 in the primary of the right. An overnight update of the official primary results published 10, OO, set on the 23rd of January added approximately 300,000 votes, without any change in the vote share of any candidate, arousing suspicions among observers and the French press. Two hours later, an update to the total of votes obtained by Sylvia Pinel was published, increasing her vote share by 0.01%, i.e., 160 additional votes. However, the total number of votes for Pinel increased by 161, more than the total number of overall votes, with changes to no other candidates. The results were initially speculated to have been manipulated into inflate the apparent turnout, which was low compared to past primaries. Second round The second round runoff was held on 29 January between Benoit Hammond and Manuel Valls. An additional debate was beheld before the second round, syndicated between France Inter, TF1, and France 2 at 21. OO, set on the 25th of January. Moderated by Giles Bulo, David Pujadas, and Alexandra Bensed, after which an LA poll found that 60% of viewers were most convinced by Hammond, compared to 37% for Valls. The margin was 61. 36 among left-wing sympathizers. Hammond ultimately won the second round 58, 69 percent, 41, 31 percent over Valls, according to official results, becoming the nominee of the PS in the presidential election. Candidates Junior Minister of the Minister of the Economy and Finance responsible for consumer affairs and the social and solidarity economy from 2012 to 2014. Junior Minister of the Minister of the Economy, Finance, and Foreign Trade, responsible for social and solidarity economy in 2012. Sylvia Nalo, Laurent Baumel, Eric Andrew, Jean-Michel Bela, Eric Lazet, Ibrahim Aboubakar. Withdrawn former economy minister Emmanuel Macron, who refused to participate in the socialist primary and instead ran for president as an independent under the banner of En Marche, declined. Martina Aubry, mayor of Lille, former minister of social affairs, minister of labor, employment and vocational training, socialist leader, and 2012 presidential candidate, Anik Jorardin, 
PRG member and Minister of the Civil Service, endorsed the candidacy of Sylvia Pinel. Sagaline Royal, 2007, Socialist Party, Presidential Candidate, Incumbent Minister of Ecology, Sustainable Development and Energy, Najat Vallad Belkasam, Minister of Education, Higher Education and Research, endorsed the candidacy of Manuel Valls, refused to participate. Emmanuel Macron, former Minister of the Economy, Industry and Digital Affairs, and founder of Enmarche, standing as an independent in the presidential election. Jean-Luc Mélenchon, left front map, former Minister of Vocational Education and Senator, standing as a far-left candidate in the presidential election. Opinion polls First round Second round Results Non-candidates 24 applications were filed with the high authority for the left-wing primary, but not all were made public. Of these, several were disqualified for not securing enough sponsors under the rules of the primary. Fabian Verdier, Socialist Party member, advisor to two cabinet ministers and former town councillor. Several other individuals filed applications which were rejected as they were not members of P.S. Ude. Pay, or FD. However, because of his low approval rating, he announced that he would not seek re-election, becoming the first president of the Fifth Republic to decide not to run for a second term. The primary was contested by seven candidates, four from the Socialist Party and three representing other parties part of the left-wing electoral alliance, La Belle Alliance Populaire. The three frontrunners in the first round of the primary were Manuel Valls, who served as Hollande's prime minister from 2014 to 2016 and interior minister from Tchens. In June 2010, prior to the 2012 election, the party decided to open the primary to all citizens, and not only members of the PS. And in October 2011, it held its first open primary which led to the selection of Francois Hollande as its nominee in the subsequent election, won by the PS, in the party's Toulouse Congress following the 2011 primary. The principle of open primaries for future presidential elections with the involvement and support of Hammond easily defeated Valls, beating the XPM by nearly 20 percentage points and officially took the mantle as nominee of the PS in the 2017 presidential election. Background The selection of the candidate of the French Socialist Party, PS, by activists was planned since the adoption of statutes at the Epinay Congress in 1971, and the PS ran close primaries, among party members only before the 1995 and 2007 presidential election. The French Socialist Party held a two-round presidential primary to select a candidate for the 2017 
presidential election on 22 and 29 January 2017. It was the second open primary, primary Cytovians, held by the center-left coalition. After the primary in 2011 in which François Hollande defeated Martine Aubry to become the socialist nominee, Hollande went on to defeat incumbent Nicolas Sarkozy in the 2012 presidential election. However, 2012 to 2014, Benoit Hamon, Minister of National Education in 2014, and Arno Monteberg, Minister of the Economy, Production Recovery and the Digital Sector from 2012 to 2014. On the 22nd of January, Hammond received 36.03% and Valls 31.48% of the vote in the first round and advanced to the runoff. Far ahead of all other candidates and well ahead of Monteberg, who was eliminated and immediately endorsed Hammond in the runoff. 